What up everybody, this is Devin. I'm super pumped to chat with you today. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys exactly, I mean exactly um, as we do it on the wedding day, how we shoot bride's details. So I'm gonna walk you through how we go through the bride's details, the things we look for like the light, um, how we implement like her details, things that's really important to her, things that she's excited about, things that she's using on the wedding day that have value and, and, and importance and, or that they have sentimental value in her life, how we incorporate that into the wedding day details that we shoot, as well as um, talking about lighting, talking about lens choicing, choices, things to look for um, when you're setting them down. Like there was one point where I wanted to use a fireplace, didn't end up using a fireplace, ended up using a wooden desk instead. That looked really awesome. Also, hey, here's our cat. I'm out of here. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about shooting details, like wedding details during the wedding. Um, so our bride is awesome. She's getting married here in the mountains and we have her layout here. I generally, I found this, this table was just sitting here. Um, this table was just sitting here when we walked in and this is actually what she's gonna be riding on. I was deciding on taking video, like shooting details on the wedding over there, but I decided to shoot the details on this instead and we decided it'd be best because it's closer to the window. And what we like to do is side window light. So this desk was actually turned this way, but instead what we did was we turned it this way so that it's gonna be side lit. Now we've got a lot of things to go. I see that like she likes the greenery from here, so she's got a lot of the green on the details. So I decided to go outside and grab some pine stuff. And then also they had dried lavender, which is kind of like dried lavender from a bin in the room. So dry, dried lavender from the bin in the room. So we'll use all of this. So I'll show you how I'll walk through this. So I like to use the details in the, um, sometimes we'll use them and put them on the, on here. Sometimes we won't. So sometimes we'll see, like she's got a couple of rings in his ring and sometimes they just go right in like that. So that worked out really well. That fit together right there. Um, she also has shoes and I love these shoes. Um, now I don't want the shoes over here because if the shoes are over here, they'll cast a shadow on everything else. So I generally have the shoes like right over here. And I'll do something like this. Um, you guys will see the final um, product of it. So I'll do that, shoot that. And then I usually like balance. Like balance is key. Balance is key when it comes to styling. So like if one of these are on one, this one side, I'll put some on the other side to balance it out. And you can see the rings are here. Um, so then there's something here that they have. Um, she also has this other little ring. And so you can see how it's nice and balanced. Um, with the shoes, with this napkin, um, I might move that around, but um, just all, all, all this stuff is, there's a sense of balance here. So balance is key in, in, in good pictures and so in details as well. So we'll shoot this and we'll show you what the final looks like. Usually I shoot these with a 50 on 2.0, but since it's a long wide table, I'm gonna shoot this on a 35. And I actually like the, the, the depth of field when it like separates the ground from the table. It actually looks like 3D, it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna shoot this with 35 and 50 to show you both. Okay, so generally we have, um, we like to do different variations of the details. So we'll do just like uh, all the details together or we'll do just the, um, just the cards together. Catherine was working on shoes and jewelry. We also will layer things that are important to them. So they had this, this kind of geode was important to them. Uh, and then, so we put their rings on that, put the rings together, put it right on here. And that layered really, really well. We stacked those, stacked it up, layered it together. It looks really, really nice. I'll show you the photo in just a moment. And then as we shoot, we always kind of be mindful of the shadows that we lay. So like the shadows from shoes, shadows from anything like that. We try to keep it to around 2.0 unless we want everything to be in focus, then we'll shoot it up to like 3.5 or 4.0. So it's really, really simple. So this is on the day of, we're just looking around for things and light and we'll move things together so that it fits together. Uh, and then, um, and then we all shoot them in different variations together. So uh, 50 is the best, 35 is good if you're trying to, if you have a, a lot to get, make sure that you're doing different variations, make sure you're layering, um, make sure if things are in focus, so use live view. I'll use live view a lot because I'll shoot a lot where I'm going here and I'm looking, so I'll take this off here, I'll shoot it like this um, and I'll kind of get that idea 
and I'll get and I'll shoot just like that. So just so I can get overhead and make sure that it's perfectly symmetrical, make sure that it's the composition is right and everything, so I don't have to reach over. That's what I like about the D750s and the D850s that you have the flip out screen. So keep experimenting. Use light. Make sure you use light to create depth. So when the light comes to this from the side, it's creating depth across the hole. Like there's shadows and there's depths. It goes from light to darker, and it gives a lot the the, um, the photos a lot more interest. So we'll show you just like a bunch of. So we'll go ahead and show you a bunch of like different types of shots that we've done over the years and the months or whatever. I'll just play that really quickly so you can see how we use the light, how we how we um, put things together in details. Hope that was helpful. We're gonna be shooting and doing all kinds of stuff during weddings, um, throughout different weddings. So if you guys wanna learn about um, groom's prep and groom getting ready, we're actually gonna shoot some of that tomorrow. Um, and then anything else like that, let us know. So uh, make sure that you like, subscribe. Oh, make sure, sorry, make sure that you like, subscribe, anything like that. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching.